stuck. Tendrils. Curse chest complete. DJ Spud. There we go. Do you plan on playing RE4 Remake 8 episodes? Scumlord, actually, um, SideQuest approached the RE4 team and asked them if they wanted to do any sponsored streams. And they said uh, they, they couldn't budget in any more than they'd already done, but they gave me a free copy of the game. So, yes, at some point, I don't know when, I will play it. I have a copy. Why not save that for one of the Halloween games? I could. If I, if I did that, I've got RE4 and I've got, um, what was it called? The Mortuary Assistant? Oh, bless you. Spooktober isn't that far away. It's a while away, but I will say that, uh, when you love your job, time sure flies. I feel like, I, literally, I feel like I do, uh, I have a list of tasks I do on the first of the month. And then I have a list of things I need to do before the end of the month, such as make, like, a Q&A video for the month. And it's like, I do the first of the month tasks, and then I do some streams, and I blink, and then my reminders go off to do the end of month stuff. And I'm like, what the f- Like, every time. Wait, I missed, uh, gotta free the prisoner. Dungeon complete. Dead man's dredge. You know, it said dungeon complete, but I hadn't gotten to the treasure chest at the end yet. I'm glad I hadn't left yet. They were just trying to trick me into leaving the loot. Bone Shield of Might. Basic skills grant a 25% damage reduction for 7.5 seconds. I think I s saw that on a different skill at some point already. Uh, 268. Okay, Wait, where's the button? There it is. Remember that the Amazing Star game I've been playing is on Silver Less than 10 USD on Steam. I get a weird story about the Star Wars game. So. And to be to, in the middle of this, it's going to sound like I'm like bitter about it. I'm not. I just think it's weird. It's not hurting me in any way. So, you know, there's like the whole DMCA thing with the music industry. Like you, you, you stream something on stream you're not supposed to. And then like the music industry is like, give us our money. They break your knees. So the Star Wars game that we've been playing. What is this, by the way? Next score skill does bonus damage. Okay. The Star Wars game I've been playing. Um, if I play any game on stream, 
Usually, Twitch is terrible about detecting copyright. Their, their program is awful for it, but YouTube's is really good. Like, if Noxie and I think a video, like we can't use music for something, we just upload a video as a unlisted video, and then see, before listing it, before making it public, we just see if it complains. And if it complains, then we take it down, change the music, upload it again, check again. And what's crazy is two of my vo the the two of my vods of playing Star uh, sorry Star Wars recently had like just a two minutes here, two minutes there muted. I assume because the background music. And I put them on YouTube. YouTube has no problem with them at all. And then Twitch sent me an email. Uh, it was an automated system, and it was like, you know, we've noticed that you've gotten four DMCA things in the last 24 hours. You know, here's a reminder that you need to be careful with DMCA. It's very serious, and I'm just, just honestly, I'm just, I'm so, they could be right. It is entirely possible they're right, but I, I'm so just in the habit of thinking that Twitch's detection system is terrible that I'm like, are you sure? Are you really sure? Like, I, I'm just, like, I, am I really in trouble? Really? So it's been odd. Like, we had, to, there was one episode for uh, YouTube that we had to re-download it from Twitch like three or four times to get a version of it that didn't have a muted section, and then we finally got it, and it's fine now. But, uh, yeah, the whole experience was odd. I In all, like, in five years of streaming, in between my two channels combined, in six thousand YouTube videos I've uploaded? Six thousand, chat. I've never had an issue where Twitch said there was a problem and YouTube said there wasn't until now. Like, the issue's that rare. Focus. Uh, no hit. Uh... Blood Mist leaves a trail that lasts for four seconds. It does 54 shadow damage per second to enemies who stand in it. Your movement speed is no longer reduced while Blood Mist is active. Oh, wow. But that could be crazy. Mm, let's go back to town, clean up. Uh, Twitch is hysterical, yeah. Tw Star Wars is notorious for DMC as possible. Yeah, maybe. I mean, like, I, like I, I'm open-minded enough to say, say that, like, yeah, it's, it's completely possible that just this time... It's not getting caught, but I, it was very surprising. Me and um, Birdtree had to, like, I would rather upload. Okay, I would rather upload that episode to YouTube and have it get claimed and just have them take the dollar I'll make from it rather than not upload it and the people that watch me on YouTube miss that episode and don't know what happened. Or upload it and have it be completely muted, right? I would just rather them take the money for that one. However, it was like we had to download that episode from Twitch over and over and over before it would give us a non-muted version. It was just like, finally. Um, <laughs> Where should we go now? There's two more dungeons up there. We can go do one of those. Oh. Uh... Uh, 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 uh. Got an ad for the upcoming game on Instagram. Uh, Cal was using the dual and a saber that you prefer looks sweet. Nice. Yeah, I had heard a lot of good things about Star Wars Jedi Fallen Order. Um, and then when I finally tried it. I was like, well, you know, I, I was I was hoping I would like it. But I ended up liking it far more than I anticipated. Which is nice. That's awesome. You know, it's, it's, it's great when you love your job. But uh, it was so much more enjoyable than I thought it was going to be. Uh, at level 22, we get Bone Mages, and we can try those. That's the next thing. Uh, we have one ability point we can spend. I think we'll get this. Heal for 5% of your max life whenever an enemy with Iron Maiden on them dies. I think we'll try that. So, free Iron Maiden... It makes them hurt themselves, and when they die, I get a heal. We now have sustain without potions.
Uh, what's the thing here? Defeat Rodian Festerpool. Where is he? For the mastery, do it within 50 seconds. Oh my god, where is he? Oh! Rodian! Come here! There he is. Oh my god, we were down to 30 seconds. Event completed, Cull the Wicked. Uh. Uh. I can't pick up my O-Balls. Wait, you cannot carry more O-Balls? <laughs> Wait, how do I spend the O-Balls? That's gambling, right? Crap. Uh, does every town have a gamble person? I don't see a gamble icon on that one. Maybe it's only the main town? I think it's... I know the main town has one. <sighs> Gamba time? Yeah, apparently. Okay, um... Purveyor of Curiosities. I think it's that person. I wound up over there by just happenstance one time. I'm not ready yet. Someone tell me about world bosses. How, when, where, and why do, do I find them? Very nice. But could be. It seems your prayers have been answered. Deals 20% increased damage each second you stand still. Oh. Hmm. It seems your prayers have been answered. Very nice. It seems your prayers have been answered. No, that's a downgrade. Actually. That's really good. You gain increased armor every time you do damage, up to 35%. Yo, look at our girl. She's looking spooky nice. Uh, wondering when the next Octopath stream is next Wednesday. Probably. Probably. Saturday night, more D4. Sunday night, I'm not sure yet. Monday night is Mutiny Monday, plus a two-hour sponsored segment from Dredge. Um, Tuesday is always heavily Guild Wars 2. Back to my roots, so maybe Wednesday. Does Necro get more Minion Mancery stuff in the later levels? Because I'm not really intrigued for the Tier 1 and 2 abilities and skill trees of now. Uh, so, they're not in the skill tree, actually. So, here's the skill tree. You click Book of the Dead, and this is where the Necromancer summoning stuff is. It's right here. There's... I haven't looked past where I'm... Okay, so I've read everything down to here. Just a moment. Blood wave, totally blood is the same as enemies, army of the dead, skeletons of your volatile skeletons, emerge the next episode. So, this is kamikaze skeletons. Bone stars, uh, after you don't take damage, you may get to assassinate. In your bone skills, increase max life 10 seconds. Shot damage, if I take damage, you'll make your issue to me. Okay, so this has synergy with minions, and this has synergy with minions. Um, but yeah, yeah, it's it's here, and I, I, I Chad had to tell me about it too. You can think. Huh. Mm -hmm. Playing both the Necro and the Druid. Necro tonight, Druid all all night tomorrow, Sunday maybe whichever one I like the most. I don't know. D2 had good Necros too. Mm -hmm. I'll say it's nice that the minions don't get stuck in this game like they did in D2, though. We're notorious for getting stuck on corners. Some levels you just constantly have to, like, town portal out and town portal back to, un to fix it. Um, wait, where's... how do you...
I'm trying to remember. Wasn't this the guy that you extract thing like a, a thing from an item, like a, an orange item? I thought that was here. Next door, is it the cross? Thank you. As I'm sure you know. Extract aspects. Wow, this is kind of expensive, isn't it? Alright, imprint aspect. Uh, can I add an aspect to a thing that already has one? Or is it just... Wait, what? Wait, aspect from inventory? I don't have it in my inventory, I just extracted it. The fourth tab. Salvage sigils. What? Fourth in your inventory. Oh, 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 thank you. Okay, hold on. So... What was the thing where the skeletons gain strength every second? Okay, it has to be on a weapon. What is on here right now? 20% increased damage for each second you stand still. Up to 30%. So, I'm not really holding still much. Oh gosh. Whoa, this one's more powerful. Your skeletons gain increased damage while alive up to 60% after 10 seconds. It's stronger than last time. So, maybe there's an item level thing. I panicked running this first time too. Yeah, dude, I thought that I like broke the gear and I could no longer, you know, do that. I, I was like, oh no. So some of these get stronger as your level goes up, I guess. What's the 22? Okay. To, okay, the aspect I just did, would I need to remove it again? Like, when I'm done with this weapon, do I have to remove it again? Because I don't see it over here in aspects now. It's one use. Okay, so to this specific aspect I like, if I replace this weapon, I will have to find it in the wild again. So it's a little worse than like her Roderick Cube recipes. Father, is that no. No, no, no. I wouldn't mind like having to pay to move it from item to item each time, but I think being unable to remove it from the second item is kind of so. Yo, look at our character, really cool now. Periodically damaged nearby enemies. I don't want to abandon my plus two max minions aspect. Oh, that sounds like a good one. 
If it's a one use, once you discover it, you should be able to buy it somewhere, or maybe buy a slightly worse version of it. I wouldn't say no to that. Hmm, still have that shrine for like one more second when we entered. It's kind of jarry right now. Oh, I remember this spot, the invisible wall there. Activate the gate winches. This reminds me of one time when I was dungeon mastering in D&D &D, and I was describing a situation and I was like, uh, I, I said something like, you'll have to activate the winch or something like that. And one guy at the table just burst out laughing. And after much discussion and WTFing, we found out that he did not know the definition of winch of like this thing. He only knew of like, like a bar winch. <laughs> and he thought I was saying, like, activate the woman, and that'll open the door. And he was just like, what the f You know? Oh, God! Uh, 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 I'm stunned. I'm stunned for 10 years. Minions, please. Minions, please. Minions, please. Minions, please. Oh god! Oh no, the invisible wall! I'm gonna die because that stupid wall! Oh, the hook! I should have known! Oh my god. Bruh. That was terrifying. That was terrifying. <laughs> and I had the freaking invisible wall, too. <sighs> Edge Master's Sacrificial Sickle. Skills deal up to 29% increased damage based on your available primary resource when cast, receiving the maximum benefit while you have full primary resource. Ah, oh, okay. Dude, he's so aggressive. Oh my goodness. Y'all told me that when Asmund fought that guy, he just got stuck. I, I was not given the... That, that, that was streamer privilege. That didn't happen to me. Maybe you gotta have more than a thousand viewers for Butcher to get stuck in your game. Oh my god. Anyway, yeah, winch has two definitions. <laughs> 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 
That was with the tanky skeletons, too. They would have died so much faster if I wasn't using the shield bros. I don't even know how... I'm wondering how much damage he took was from Iron Maiden. I bet it was a pretty decent percentage. You attack faster and summon holy... Oh my god, are all the skeletons doing it? Wait, every curse does it. And the curses are free. That was fun while it lasted. I have to remember to do that again the next time I get that but that ability. Dang it, Sever is not traveling properly there. Haunted Cell Block. I will say, I also would not have been able to kill the Butcher if there wasn't already some bodies on the ground from my previous fight. Because I had to use almost all of them for that. Your max number of skeletal mages is increased by two. Oh. My god. Two more bony boys. And now I got more mages than tanks. Slay all enemies in the cell block. Level 20. Gem crafting unlocked. Wait, I missed two back there. Skeleton Forks Axe. 